Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I haven't posted in a while just because I've been busy with work and whatnot, but I wanted to make this quick video and showing you how to install and hardwire the dash cam into your car or for this example, a Hyundai Palisade. So the first thing I did is locate the fuse box and I got all my components that we are going to use, which is a hardwiring kit. The camera itself, the front, rear camera, and the extension uh, that we're going to run along the uh, along the frame of the inside of the car, and some other little tools and fuse tab. So after doing much research of the endless amount of dash cam options out there, I ended up going with the VFO A139 Pro. This is the two channel one front and rear camera. It does have the new Sony 4K Starvis 2 sensor, which makes a big difference in low light performance in getting the tags and letters at low light without your headlights blowing out the image of it. Uh, the hardwiring kit that I will be using, I also found it on Amazon. It is specifically for the VFO and it does have the USB-C power cable uh, along with it and also the voltage uh adjuster that you can adjust to your liking um also go ahead and get you some of these fuse taps uh that we're going that we're going to need later on in the video and we're going to tap into the fuse box uh using those kinds and just for um for you to know the honda palace does use a micro two kind of fuse so that's the one that we're going to be using Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use this handy dandy trim removal tool to remove the plastic cover uh, from the top here. And I am uh, recording with one hand and doing the job with the other hand. And prior to me being into film, I did kind of did most of the work in removing this top part. So it's not gonna come off that easy, just so you know. But anyways, just hit the like button, subscribe, and maybe I can get some a mount a gopro or something so i can show you better next time <laughs> but anyway this is what it looks like uh we're going to be feeding the cables uh just the same way the oem cables are running um along the top now this does this plastic cover does have some grooves which we can use to kind of feed the cables and make it as clean as possible for the installation so once you go ahead and manage to kind of squeeze the cables in there uh go ahead and put it back and start and start feeding the cables along the uh the the headliner the, the little groves in the back go ahead and start doing that that's what it looks like um in the in the front and that's where we're gonna start running the cable along along the the top trim of of the car go ahead and puzzle it back together that way you can stay secure and look at that installation that's clean that's clean right there now this is the tricky part right here when you get to this a pillar uh, section run the cables behind the airbag okay don't want to have it in front run it behind the airbag and you just kind of feed the um power cables down there and we're gonna worry about that later but you can see me here trying to bank trying to just slightly move slightly move that that piece of plastic just enough so you can feed the cable behind it all right so now let's worry about the other cable that's going to go to the rear camera just go ahead and feed that cable all along that that side the upper side area um you can see me here just trying to do with one hand and record with the other uh but you you're gonna have to uh, remove that weather stripping slightly while you push the cable um on that area and once you do just go ahead and put it back and just keep on feeding the that cable uh along along the the, the side of it and once you get to the back over here same deal go ahead and remove that weather stripping in the back and also go ahead and snap that little rubber piece 
out because we're going to feed the cable from underneath the headliner and we're going to feed it up that little hole and going to feed it through a rubber part so pretty much going to be hidden kind of like like from factory pretty much <laughs> I, I just try to make this as clean as possible installation and you can see here that uh I, I managed to to get it now this is a tricky the tricky tedious one just because you got to feed the cable through the rubber part but once you manage to do it go ahead and just pull it pull it along and eventually we're going to remove that plastic cover up in the top so uh, that's me removing that plastic trim piece because that's where the cable is going to come out from let's go ahead and remove that and it just snaps right off So great so same deal keep on feeding that cable through the holes and pretty much get it out and we're very close to being done and the cool thing about this method is that if the cable is too long then you can pretty much just uh, feed the excess cable back into that hole and yeah like how I'm doing right now I'm just putting all the excess cable back in and just leave a little bit of cable exposed Go ahead and snap that piece back in. And the next step is going to be just go ahead and connect it, connect the camera and stick it on the windshield to your preferred location. So that's my location right there. Looks pretty good. Uh, cables are not really hanging when I open or close the, uh, the trunk. And I'm pretty happy with, um, with how it's just turning out. So I went ahead and installed the front camera as well by simply um, peeling that tape that comes with and just stick it on the windshield and connected the, the cables to the camera and just make sure that all the cables are nicely and tucked in, that the A-pillar trim is nicely installed back together. So all we got to do now is worry about the, the fuse tap right now. And this is what it looks like from the outside. So now let's worry about the fuse taps. And go ahead and get you the adapters that we're going to be using. Go ahead and just grab two of those. And for the Honda Palisade, the ones that are, that are needed are the Micro 2. So go ahead and grab the Micro 2 fuse tap adapters. So for the Honda Palisade, these are going to be the two slots that we're going to be using. The one marked in red is going to be the constant power, feeding power to the camera, even when the car is off. So the one in the black is going to be the accessory fuse slot, uh, feeding power to the dash cam when the car is on. And I kind of went ahead and installed it myself. I wish I could have recorded, but I was such in a hurry and I had to get it done today. So I went ahead and did it. But here's the final results and you should get the point of it. Um, make sure all the connections are well and secure. And that's your little adjuster there. I have it set for 12 volts. So when the car battery drops to 12 volts, it's going to stop feeding energy to the dash cam. So that way I have enough juice to start the car <laughs> and i have my radar detector there so uh that's I, I love that detector i'll probably make a review on it later and don't forget to do your ground uh conveniently enough there's a little screw to the side of it right next to the fuse box i'll go ahead and sandwich your ground right there and after that you're good to go you're good to go just put everything back together and yeah all the cables are hidden clean installation i love the way it came out so I, all i gotta do now is record idiots like this one right here look at that look at that man i think this camera's gonna pay off fairly soon <laughs> but anyways hopefully not but in case i do I have a camera now anyways hit like subscribe and i'm gonna be uploading more videos like this thanks so much for watching have a great day